as per your entry entry whatever document entry we have done according to that if splitting happens from business area debit to business area credit or a profit center debit to profit center credit or segment debit to segment credit then that is considered as an active splitting now we will see the passive splitting so here this is nothing but invoice yesterday also i told now we will do payment okay one more entry view entry view that is nothing but we are we need to pay to trade payables so write on vendor payment vendor payment reference to invoice reference to invoice so we are doing the payment right debit the receiver that is nothing but trade payables comes under personal account nothing but your vendor comes under personal account and as per your personal account rule debit the receiver so we are paying so we are going to write it as an trade payable not in entry view we are going to write we won't write it as in trade payables we are go going to give the vendor name okay so here entry view entry view so here it will write the, we are going to write it as an xyz services xyz services limited account debited to bank outgoing account see here this entry we do only the payment run or payment process manual payment then the entry automatically generated xyz debit the receiver and credit the giver nothing but bank is also comes under personal account so debit the receiver and credit the giver so bank outgoing account bank outgoing account so total One lakh sixty-eight thousand total amount. One lakh sixty-eight thousand. Okay. When it comes to GL view, and here it the split will be taken place. Okay. So in the payment document, it will be updated as a so GLU. So here we won't give anything in the GLU, just it will be updated as a Trade payables trade payables account debited. So first one it will split one lakh twelve thousand. One lakh twelve thousand. Okay. So business area BHYD. So from entry view, it, it's going to be split. And first one B one thousand and your segment. Basement to 
to bank outgoing account. One lakh twelve thousand. BHYD BC Next one, next entry Second line, again 1,56,000 uh, Same entry Paid payables. Debit. So bank. Outgoing account. So what is the amount? 56,000. So what was this one? B double, B high three part. Profit center B double one double zero. B C. Okay, as you know that the flow debit to credit, credit payables and the flow follows like this. From here to here it will copy first line. Show you. The flow will flow like this. Okay, next one. Naveen, here for profit center, you have taken B2. Sorry, sorry. Profit center. Yeah. B1200. Two yeah. outgoing, two bank outgoing account. Two bank outgoing account. Yeah, yeah, it's sorry. B1000. Is it correct? Yeah. So now the next entry will flow. It will copy.
just write it down this means here in the payment once we do the payment automatically the splitting will happen according to the invoice then that type of splitting is considered as an passive splitting create an example your reversal entries payment entries all those stuff comes under passive splitting Is it done? Once you're done, let me know. Done, everyone. If you are done, then we will do the configuration part. Okay. So write in first step in configuration. Write down in configuration. First step. Classify GL accounts. First step. Configuration. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. First step in document splitting. Write down first one. Write down the path. SPRO. SPRO. SAP reference IMG. Financial Accounting New, General Ledger Accounting New, Business Transactions, Business Transactions, Document Splitting, Document Splitting, Classify, GL accounts for document splitting. Classify GL accounts for document splitting. I'll write down. Once again, I'll show you. SPRO, SAP reference IMG, SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Next, financial accounting new. Financial accounting new. Fine. Next one, Gen so here, general ledger accounting new, general ledger accounting new, business transactions, business transactions, business transactions, document splitting, document splitting. So here, classify GL accounts for document splitting. So it's only a table we have. We don't have a transaction box. Classified GL accounts for document splitting. Classified GL accounts for document splitting. So click on IMG activity button. So it will ask for chart of accounts. Give your chart of accounts, BOCA. BOCA. Give chart of accounts, BOCA. BOCA. Give chart of accounts, BOCA. 
click on execute button next one press new entries write down press new entries press new entries press new entries so here again we need to define whatever a document account groups we have created so here i'll create one lakh two whatever i remember one zero double nine double nine so this is related to share capital you remember it or not so here item category this is very important item categories so all the so vendor separate item category right customer item separate category material separate so this is a share capital it comes under balance sheet account okay next one 1 lakh 10000 1 lakh 10000 to 1 lakh 19000 this is reserves and surplus we have created so this is also balance sheet this is also balance sheet account reserves and surplus so hope you remember that uh, account groups we have created same thing so next one 1 lakh 20000 1 lakh 20000 to 1 lakh 2999 so this is related to accumulated depreciation this is nothing but an asset asset item category 07000 we have 7000 right yeah, asset. So these are recipe standards. This we have already created account groups. Okay, one lakh thirty thousand. So one lakh thirty ninety ninety nine. This is secured loans. So balance sheet only. Balance sheet only. One lakh forty. This is unsecured loans. Okay, same by unsecured loans. Okay. So here I am. So next one. One lakh fifty thousand. This is related to your trade payables vendor accounts. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting into two different parts, normal vendor and special GL vendors. So special GL vendors is nothing but vendor down payment, advance payment, all those stuff. So what I'm doing here, I'm splitting into two different parts. So 1 lakh 50, 499 to vendor accounts. So it's a 3000. I remember category, item category. 3000, yeah, vendor. And same thing, 1 lakh 15,500. Sorry, 1 lakh 55,000. Two. 1 lakh 55, 1 lakh 55,000 to 1 lakh 55, 9, 1, sorry, 1 lakh 50. So this is also same. When our special GL, we have a separate item category called 03100. 03100, you can see here, 3000 vendor special GL transaction. This is all related to your vendor down payments, vendor advance payments, and all. Okay, next one. One lakh sixty thousand. One lakh sixty thousand to one lakh sixty nine. I'll take one lakh sixty nine nine. Tax on sales and this is nothing but tax accounts. So tax on sales and purchases. So we have, see here, 5,100. Next one. 1 lakh 70,000. 1 lakh 70, 99. This is related to balance sheet items. Next one, uh, one lakh eighty to one lakh eighty nine nine. This is also balance sheet. 
So now we will start with the assets. Just on typing it, you can check your account groups. Set this one. Zero seven thousand. Two lakhs ten thousand. Balance sheet on it. Stock twenty three thousand. We have created for stock. We can create it as an inventories. So it's nothing but material uh, 0, 6, 000. Yeah, 6,000 material. Here the description will be displayed here. Just write it down as it is till here. Okay, two lakhs forty thousand. What is two lakhs forty thousand? We have so we are going to create cash and bank accounts. Okay, then we have a separate category for cash and bank that is nothing but four thousand item category zero four thousand. Yeah, cash account. Okay, twenty four. Next one trade payables. So trade trade payables have been maintained in the same way trade receivables also we need to maintain special GL customers and normal customers. So we are going to maintain two lakhs fifty thousand to two lakhs fifteen. So normal customer that is two thousand I believe. Let me check item category customers. 2000 customer special gl customers two lakhs fifty five thousand two lakhs so special GL customer zero two one double zero. Sorry, yeah zero two one double zero. Next one, receivables tax receivables two lakh sixty thousand two lakh six double nine double nine tax receivables. It's I think it's five thousand one hundred. 051 This is tax payables and this is tax receivables. Next one 270000 This is for balance sheet. Two lakhs eighteen. Two lakhs eighteen nine 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 balance sheet item. Next one three lakhs. Three zero double nine double nine. So revenues three series starts with. Revenues, revenues is nothing but same 3,000. 
revenue, sorry. Yeah, 30,000. Can I continue or have we completed this? No, no, we not. Yeah, please. Just once you're done, let me know. In the classic GL accounting, we didn't have, uh, we don't have this particular step because we have already defined the account group. So that will be get continued. But in new GL module, this additional step has been added. So this account groups we are using for new GL accounting. Is it done? Yes, no. Yes, no. So next we can go ahead with next set of categories. Lax <laughs> 10,000, right? Relax 10,000. So three months, 10, 99, it's a revenues only. Thirty thousand. Three lakhs twenty. Three two nine nine nine. So thirty thousand. Three lakhs thirty. Right now, here it's a revenues. Next one, four lakhs. Four zero double nine double nine. It's related to expenses. Expenses we have your thirty thousand. And here expenses we have twenty thousand. What you can see here, twenty thousand is expenses. <coughs> four lakhs ten thousand. Four lakhs nineteen thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Twenty thousand. Four lakhs twenty thousand. Lex twenty double nine double nine expenses twenty thousand four lakhs thirty thousand 
Yeah, please. Once you're done, let me know. And one more thing, it's very important step, put a star mark for this. If this we are not assigning properly, then the splitting will not happen. It's not going to be happen. So make sure that this will be done properly. And the series and all in real time, our project lead will be given or our project manager or product owner will give us the numbering range and all. Clear? Then I win. Excellent. The important thing is whatever account to group you have created and how we are going to sync in item category. That is very important. Next one, click on save button. Click on save button. So here in ultra, ours is own request. Ours is Birla. Save. Next one. All right. And write the next configuration step. Second step. Classify document types for. Next one. Classify document types for. Document types for document splitting. Classify document types for document splitting. Path same as above. Path same as above. Till document splitting. Path same as above till documents splitting from there from there select from there select classify document types classify document types for document splitting classify document types for document splitting So how many document types we have? Total. How many document types we have SAP standard? Yes, total 58 document types. SAP standard provided is total 58. Actually one is deleted as I said uh, last session. So total 58 document types in SAP standard. So write down note, NOT note, or write down a note. So here I have given the same thing, note, no configuration changes, no configuration changes required, no configuration changes required for required for 58 standard SAP document types. And in real time also, 
99.9% companies will use this 58 standard document types only. Okay, full stop. Changes are required only user defined document types. Okay, right on, full stop and continue. Okay, right and full stop and continue. SAP provided, SAP provided, SAP provided predefined configuration settings, predefined config configuration settings, predefined configuration settings for 58 standard document types for 58 standard document types. Clear? So not document type. So here it's nothing we need to do. Write down one more point. So already we have done this is changes required only for, only for user defined documents. User defined document types. Okay. Naveen, document types means R, E, K, R like that. Sorry? Document types. Huh. So we have R, E, K, R, K, Z. Yes, like yes, that. exactly. Those. All those come on the 58 only? Yes, yes. You can see. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, A, B, you can see here. K is related to your vendor document. K stands for credit R. Okay. Next. Yeah. Uh, data R. D stands for data R. You can see here. Customer document types. Clear? Yeah. So these are the customer. And next one. See here. Whatever you asked. RE. Okay. Gross invoice reset. RA. Right? RF. Fine. Everything will be predefined. As we discussed here, we are going to do right now for GL model. We are going to use only two. One is SA document type and another one is AB document. In GL model and AP model, we have other than this. KA document, KG document, KN and all those stuff. Clear? Yeah. Concept. We need to remember all this. Sorry. <clears throat> Do we need to remember all this? I didn't get you. Do we need, need to remember all this? No, no, not practice? required. As per module, you will remember everything while practicing. Okay. Because okay. we won't use all the document types because this is related to all submodules and all the modules. Okay. Okay. So next one, write down, define zero balance clearing account. So, so what is zero balance clearing account? What exactly? When it would need to be triggered automatically? When debit balance is not equals to credit balance, credit balance at a business area level, profit center level, at segment level, vice versa. When credit balance is not equals to debit balance at profit center level, segment level, and business area level, then this particular defined, this zero balance need to be triggered automatically. Okay. Okay. So write down. Write down. First step here. Don't write directly. Put a heading as a zero balance. Define zero balance clearing account. Define zero balance clearing account and I done under that it's a two steps activity it's a two steps activity
first step under that we need to create we need to create we need to create zero balance clearing account okay and one more thing see here what is this define zero balance clearing account see me we are creating zero balance clearing ledger account so ledger account is a not a configuration step it's a master data clear see here, see here. first step create zero balance clearing account gl creation is a write down this first one create zero balance clearing account gl creation is a master data not a configuration step okay write down the path write down the path see what is the difference what do you mean by sap easy access what do you mean by sap easy access screen what it reflects that we are an end user screen so all the master data will be maintained at end user screen so write down sap easy access path sap easy access sap easy access accounting financial accounting general ledger master records general ledger master records gl accounts individual processing individual processing next centrally centrally transaction code fs00 transaction code fs00 so write down within the bracket it's end users screen end users screen so first we need to create the gl account for zero balance ledger account okay after that we need to do the configuration so it's not a configuration step what we are doing we are just creating the master data okay so go to your spro so what i'll do is So this is end user screen, SAP easy access screen is nothing but your end user screen. So SAP menu, SAP menu, accounting, accounting, next financial accounting, financial accounting. So we are in general GL module going to start. So general ledger, general ledger. And from that, it's a master data. So master records, master records. So next one, we are going to create GL accounts, GL accounts, individual processing, individual processing. So I'll explain all these three when we start our GL module. So first select centrally, FS00, centrally, transaction code, fs double zero fs double zero okay this is i'll explain everything each and every point when we start our gl module just for temporary purpose i'm creating the zero balance ledger account so i'm creating zero balance ledger account as one lakh seventy nine thousand one lakh seventy nine thousand and company code what is our company code bi01 bi01 and click on this is so different options are there in that we have a create option 1,79,000 bi01 okay so we have a different options here okay this is for display this is for change and this is for create so click on create button don't get confused again i'll explain each and every step so here so there's nothing but your current liabilities it's a current liabilities it's a balance sheet item so here pnl account and balance sheet and in s4 hana you won't find this option 
Okay, click on balance sheet item. Zero balance. Zero balance. Clearing account. Okay, same thing you can write here. Zero balance, clearing account. Write on this. Because it's a liability, it will be get adjusted. Automatically, it should be trigger. Again, manually, we won't give anything. So write down, I'm creating a GL account. I'm giving account number 1,79,000 from liability series from 1 lakh to 1,99,999. I'm selecting 1,79,000 for zero balance ledger account. Okay. Is it done? It's done. So next click on control data. Don't uh, get confused. I'll explain each and every tab here. Control data when we create our regular GLs. Okay. Next one. Check on checkbox on only balance in local currency. Only balance in local currency. And select open item management. Line item display. Sort key as per posting date. 001. 001 posting date. So, what are the things we are going to check in control data tab? Automatically, the local currency will be updated as per your company code. So, we need to check, we need to check only balance in local currency. Next one, open item management, line item display, and 001 sort. 001 sort. Next one, click on create a button. Is it done? One second. Yeah. So, okay. Next, click on create bank interest tab. So, it's we have created B001 Birla balance sheet accounts. So here it should be automatically if this particular GL need to be triggered whenever there is a difference. When the debit balance is not equals to credit balance or credit balance is not equal to debit balance, then it need to be updated automatically. So here we need to select post automatically only. We need to select post automatically only. So this will be triggered automatically by the system. Okay. Just write it G001, I'll explain everything field status groups. Already we have done the field status groups in the configuration. Okay. And select post automatically only. So click on save button. Click on save button. Click on save button. Click on save button. So here we need to copy to the same account to other company codes. Okay. We need to copy to other company codes. So I'll give what is the other. I'll give the same account number for other company codes also. BI02 or other company code and here this is for as we know display edit sorry change create and here it is for copy create with the template means whatever template we have created for bi01 the same template we can do it so instead of doing every step here we can copy if it is similar what is my source 17 
one seven triple nine from we are copying from p i zero one. Write it down. So all the attributes which we have given for this particular GL account in company code BI01, everything, all the attributes will be copied to this particular GL account of BI02 company code. BI02 company code. Okay. Click on OK button. That's it. Okay. You can see. So click on save button. That's it. Everything will be saved. Now, what is the one more company code we have? BU01. BU01. Same thing. So, with the template, with the template, BI01, GL account, it has to be copied from BI01 to BU01. So, click on continue. Click on continue. Just write it down. So click on save button. So we have not created. Automatically everything will be copied. You can see now we are in BO01 company code. So everything, current liabilities, zero balance clearing account, zero balance clearing account, control data, all the attributes are copied. You can see here, BO01 is US company code. So the local currency, that is nothing but account currency, is USD. Clear? Any questions? No, no. Okay. Step number two. Step number two. This will complete this. Step number two. We have already created. Next one. Define zero balance clearing account. No, we need whatever ledger accounts we have created that we need to configure. 1,79,000. Okay, right up. Define zero balance clearing account. Write down path SPRO. Path SPRO. SAP reference IMG. SAP reference IMG. Financial accounting new. Financial accounting new. General ledger accounting new. General ledger accounting new. Business transactions, business transactions, document splitting, document splitting, document splitting. Next, classify, sorry, define zero balance clearing account. Define zero balance clearing account means whatever GL we have created, now we need to assign. define zero balance clearing account. So whatever number GL account we have created that we need to assign here. So click on IMG activity button. See here, this is already predefined item category. That is nothing but 1001 is nothing but zero balance posting. You can see here item category. See here, 0101 is nothing but for zero balance posting. So whenever debit is not matching with credit, credit is not. So, okay. So here you can see, this is a standard account case, triple zero. You can see here debit posting case 40. Standard account for zero balance. This is nothing but triple zero. Account key is a standard SAP provided and 40 debit posting key and 50 credit posting key. Just write it down this. Account key, this is standard. We are not going to change anything. This is a SAP has predefined configured. So automatically this particular thing will be get activated. So just write it down, triple zero account key, name, standard account for zero balance, posting key debit 40 and credit posting key 50. So select the triple zero, select triple zero account key and double click on accounts, 
double click on accounts it will ask for chart of accounts so give chart of accounts boca boca give the chart of accounts boca chart of accounts boca okay now click new entries write down new entries write down new entries so here whatever ledger we have created okay chart of under this chart of accounts we have three company codes right so we need not to defend separately so we are going to create whatever gl account we have created that we are assigning to the chart of accounts what is the gl account we have created one lakh seventy nine thousand so here we need to give this gl account right and automatically that whatever zero one double zero account key automatically activated so you can see zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account okay so here you can see item category one double zero one charter combination chart of accounts boca account key triple zero with the gl account is assigned to these three for zero balance clearing account click on save button click on save button just write it down can we do another five minutes so that is that okay can we stretch for another five to five minutes to seven minutes hello it's yes. yeah just so that we can complete this so next one right down next step define document splitting characteristics Define document splitting characteristics for general ledger accounting. Define document splitting for general ledger accounting. You can see define document splitting characteristics for general ledger accounting. Path same as above. Path same as above till document splitting. Till document splitting, till document splitting. Okay. From there, select define document splitting characteristics for general ledger accounting. For general ledger accounting. For general ledger accounting. So click on IMG activity button. So write down this as it is. Business area, mandatory field, profit center, mandatory field. And from the profit center, as I said that, why we are not making is a mandatory field? Because automatically segment will be picked from profit center. Okay, so we are making, okay. Here it's a field status level. We made it as an optional. Okay. So, but in debit line item, credit line item, it should be show it as a mandatory. Field status level, whether you remember it or not, we made it optional, profit center and business area. But here for debit and credit line items, we are making it as a mandatory. Means it need to be updated, debit to credit or credit. To, means if user is entering the data, if user is entering the data, right, he may enter GL account and amount right and he is trying to save it then if we make this optional as a mandatory then it will show an error message enter business area and he has entered the business area as per the message and again he is trying to post the entry okay then it will ask for enter the profit center clear if we uncheck this then automatically it will post without profit center without business area but if we try to generate any report on the basis of profit center, on the basis of business area, on the basis of segment, then we can't generate. Clear? 
at debit and credit level we are making this as a mandatory field but when it comes to field status variant we are making it as an optional okay any questions no no just write it down majority configuration majority people will have a confusion with this majority will have a confusion with this why we are not making profit center so sorry segment as a mandatory in the sense why we are not making because segment will be picked from profit center not independent because the user never ever enter the segment if you make it mandatory then at the time of uh, user has entered gl account amount okay tax or whatever it is business area profit center if we select segment and we are try without giving segment if you are trying to save it then it will ask for segment because segment need to be derived from profit center so that's the reason we are leaving this as a blank understood yes yeah. any other questions so cfin is s4 hana sorry cfin i didn't get you cfin cfin right central finance is something different it is not s4 hana see central finance is nothing but you are migrating for example you are using your client is using jd edwards for example okay. erp right and they want to migrate from jd edwards to sap then we have a combination there is a tool called cfin tool central finance tool i'll explain okay. that. that that see here what sap you are using is s4 hana clear cfin is a tool actually okay to migrate from legacy systems to uh, this s4 hana or sap ecc clear yeah yeah i'll explain that safe and what are safe in and all okay okay so click on save button so we didn't do anything Next step, last step, define document splitting characteristics for controlling. Define document splitting for controlling. Path same as above. Path same as above. Till document splitting. Document splitting. And from there, define document splitting characteristics for controlling. Okay, define document splitting characteristics. Sorry, define document splitting characteristics for controlling. Okay, click on IMG activity button. Click on IMG activity button. Click on IMG activity button. Just write it down. Sorry. See here, there's nothing but order, sales order. We are not going to do any changes here. See, see this order, internal order, sales order, pass center, cost object will WBSC element will come under a WBSC element will come under asset accounting and these all the above will come under CO module but only the profitability and segment will come under FI module just I would want to explain this that's the reason I have shown I'm showing this okay so nothing we won't do anything next step last and final step Activate document splitting. Write down. Activate. This is very, very important step. Step. If you are not activating, you remember 
activation of document splitting will be at which level? Client level. Client level. And deactivation? Company code. Company code level. Write down. Activate document splitting. Last step. Activate document splitting. Path same as above. Path same as above. Till document splitting. Path same as above. Till document splitting. From there. Okay. From there, select activate document splitting. Activate document splitting. So we need to remember this step. So click on IMG activity button. See here. So here for previous for previous batches I have done. So if you check box here, document splitting. Okay. Document splitting. It's already activated for previous batches. One time we will do this. Okay. In the real time, what happens for it is a fresh system. So it will not be activated. So click on activate button. And the method will be copied. One, as you remember, I have explained, right? This is SA, all the rules and regulations when it needs to be triggered, right? What has to be triggered? Everything will be written in this particular one, two. Fine. And click on inheritance. That's it. Okay. So inheritance, what is inheritance? Inheritance is nothing but this is nothing but your zero balance ledger and what we call active active spreading. But inheritance is for passive spreading. So it will check which reference document number, which payment document number. If you won't select, then passive spreading will not happen. Okay, so check these three in real time also because you will work if you are working on implementation project. Okay, then you need to check whether document splitting is activated or not. 0, 01, uh, this 12 and inheritance. This is, so it will be applicable for all the clients. Okay, only these three we need to. So uh, act, if you want to deactivate, then, so here you can select any company code. Okay, for example, BI01. Okay, see if you want to inactivate company code, you can select it. Clear everyone? Yeah. So we can deactivate at this level. If you check this, then the document splitting will be deactivated. Clear? Yes. Thank you. This is about your document spreading. So we are done with the all the configuration steps with classic GL and new GL account. Okay. We'll continue tomorrow and try to log in at 7.30. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.